Rob Bipple. Welcome to Fix It or Step It. Uh, 2024. Uh, time flies, I've nearly been in the bungalow again. Uh, I didn't get there with it. But uh, first video is this drag for expert. Now, it was stripped down by the previous owner because. Yeah, I mean, so. Well, I bought a new one of them. So I'll just show you a bit. And then we'll crack on. <coughs> Got a carburetor for it, um, but yeah, no pull cord, no carb, no petrol tank. That's the new it they'll take. Um, all the linkages off it, but I'm sure we can rebuild it. Right, first off, first job. Let's put this air intake on. Keep that wire up. Don't put it under because it, it won't fit. Over tighten these, but too much. This is quite brittle, and it will, uh, or you'll snap it. So I'm just tighten up. So, right. Let's put the coil back on. I took the coil off and cleaned it, so it uh, should be okay. Piece of card, you put the card between. Now we've got to put this bit on. It'll only go one way if you stick it in the other way. So far, so we can see that fly, six flat. Flywheel, tighten it up. Put that on the wrong way around, that won't move. It'll be tight. I know that through experience if I'm honest. <laughs> right, next job, the petrol tank. Um, now, <coughs> I bought a brand new one, um, purely because I want a spare. So the one that come off this is there, it needs a good clean out. Uh, so I bought this new one, um, give it a fighting chance. This pot goes up there, and then you've got this bit that sits on there like that. So 
Just as it bites, lift that one up. So it's not that old one in front of you. There's a new spark with it all, because that's the original Riggs and Stratton plug. So, next job will be the Bring all this it's straightening out that so I'll get I'll straighten that off first and give it a clean and then come back to it. Took all this off. in that car box and everything just to get that bolt in. Open it back up and then uh, tighten this bolt back up on it. Advice. I don't know why people bend them. 
Three bit of maize there, man. Your mum is coming with a bent right down there or something like that. So, next job. Something springs out in a bit. Now I want to take the spark plug out and put a new plug in it. So I'll get this plug. Well, that was nice. That's some better guys. Um, did you get? Fortunately, no. The guy bought the service kit with it. So, not a shiny plug. Trying not to cross over it now. springs. See this piece here? Can you see that? that loop connects to that there. This all moves. And these springs have to go through that loop. somewhere actually. I'll come back to you, I'll, I'll hunt around. So a lot of my tools are still in boxes and I'm bits and bobs so that spring looks a bit worse for wear so I'll say hold it on. Actually that one's alright. So I'll just find the other spring I've got a brand new one and come back to you. Well I couldn't find the springs. I know they're in there somewhere. It's annoying. So I've bent these back into place now. Um, just it'll do. I'll order a couple. Um, put a new spark plug in it. It's all working as it should. So let's put the top on. All of these bits out. Screws everywhere. <laughs> That bolt back in there. Plastic back for the tension somewhere.
Oh, they them up too tight here. back on. it uh, all put back together um, I can't take it outside because you're chucking it down um, but, and I want to chop the blade anyway and check the oil on it so that'll be for uh, another video right folks we're just back together now um, in the next video like I say I'll chop the blade challenge the oil get it outside and give it a fire up there's no reason why you shouldn't fire up if you enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up please keep the like and subscribe if you fancy it I do appreciate it ciao for now